Hey everyone, welcome back to another edition of Score Center, a even more jam-packed edition because we not only have this week's eBay top tens to have a look at, we also have last week's that I didn't get a chance to do because I was sick. But I'm definitely feeling so much better. I'm still a little bit crook, but nowhere near as bad as I have been. So thank you all for your really, really kind words uh, as I've uh, been sick on the channel the last week. But we've had some absolutely ridiculous pulls, some uh, great stories to have. So we'll uh, get updated with all of that on pulls of the week. We also, of course, have our cracker packs where we'll be opening up some team coach NRL traders and footy stars, as well as opening up our highlights and player and focus cards. But first, let's jump into our round 17 AFL tips. Now, before we jump into round 17 tips, let's have a look how I did last week. I got seven out of nine, so I'm very happy with that. Let's have a look. I got Brisbane over the Bulldogs. I went for 21 points. Uh, I got Carlton St Kilda wrong and Essendon Sydney wrong as well. So well done the Saints and Bombers. For those games, I got Melbourne correct, Geelong, the Pies. That was a close one. That was a lot of fun, but yeah, quite stressful for a lot of it as well. Uh, we got Richmond correct. We uh, got GWS and Frio. So let's go to round 17. So that started on Thursday night. So this game would have happened by the time you see this. Let's go for Geelong. It is down at GMHBA. But what margin will we go for? Let's say maybe seven points. Maybe seven points. Uh, we'll go for Sydney. Yeah, we'll go for Sydney there. We've got to go, well, I mean, that's probably the easiest tip I've had all year. Sorry, North. Uh, we've got, ooh, we might, we might back the Suns. It is at Metricon, so we might back the Suns there. Uh, having played them last week, they uh, they are a force to be reckoned with. Dusty's not playing. Uh, oh, why don't we go for Saints? We'll go for the Saints. It's at Marvel. Uh, we've got Port there. Uh, Brisbane at the Gabba. Sunday afternoon. Don't. How many Brisbane games are there in the day? I feel like most of Brisbane's games are at night. Feels weird to see them play in the day. Um, we'll go for Hawks, and we'll go for the Blues over the Eagles. So those are my tips for round 17. And before I leave, I just want to quickly say uh, I don't know if this ever came up. Um, I can't remember because I missed last week's score center, but I got the Eagles tip correct against Essendon. So I was I was happy for them to uh, finally break their winning, uh, the winning, their losing streak. Time now for the eBay top 10 and it's a mega sized version because we of course missed last week's because I was sick, but we do actually have the slides for last week's top 10. I uh, made them all, but I was too sick to film them. So we've got double the top 10 this week. So let's firstly get into the Aussie top 10 for the past week, and then we'll get into last week's. So there's uh, some very, very cool cards on that list. So we'll, uh, yeah, a lot to look forward to. Kicking things off for our current list is in 10th spot for 685. We've got the Dusty Midnight Classified, looking very specky indeed. And that's number 50 of 60, of course. Then in ninth spot for 690, we've got the Peter Knight's Premiership Glory Signature for the Hawks. That was number 22 of 40 from last year's Supremacy. 
looking very specky and then the, yeah I really like that cloud of of uh, brown and gold around him it looks like almost like mud uh, yeah really like that then in eighth spot for 713 we've got the Sam Walsh gold card craft from team coach we haven't been seeing a huge amount of team coach cards on the top 10 this year uh, always very nice to see some team coach on the list then in seventh spot for 860 we've got the Merritt and Martin Essendon signature redemption from uh, Prestige that's number 40 of 40 then we have the uh, 36 of 40 for 899 for the same card in fifth spot for one grand we've got the Josh Kennedy and Josh Kennedy Jr. Sydney slash Hawthorne Generation Next signature card this came out of 2020's dominance and yeah that's really 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 cool uh, yeah a bit surprised a thousand dollars I think is a, a pretty good price for that then in fourth spot for 1150 we've got the Nathan Cleary 2017 SAS signature from uh, 2017 Traders then in third spot for 1250 we've got the Select Dynasty Grand Redemption set there was only 110 of these um, yeah it came in its own album and this was number 30 of 110 um, the big the big card was the 300 game uh, the 300 game uh, card was it 300 game yeah yeah it is uh, of Robert Harvey signature very very nice we've seen a few of those separately but uh, this is the whole set you can see it's got a little side pouch for that signature and then you've got the whole set of uh, an array of different base cards and um, inserts and then you've got the uh, the golden draft cards as well as the footy faces did like those uh, in second spot for 1500 we have an almost complete set of 1969 rugby league scanlands that's uh, a, a little taster of those so 45 of the 48 cards then in first spot first spot I keep saying first I don't know why um, in first spot for 1550 we've got the Hawks Heritage Collection we have seen this before it includes an authentic game used ball relic which is just awesome we uh, very very rarely see ball relics in the AFL they are uh, they are relatively common in the premium stuff in the NRL but yeah rarely see ball relics in the AFL so it's always exciting to see especially one that was used in the uh, AFL grand final and then you have all sorts of uh, the, the base cards and then we've got eight signatures in that set including some absolute legends not just for Hawthorne uh, but for the game in general so before jumping into the international top 10 let's go back to our missed week and we'll go through this a little bit quickly but uh, we will stop on some of the more interesting uh, little cards and in 10th spot for 650 we had the Arthur Summons Legends signature from that was from 2019 uh, NRL Traders of course we've seen a lot of Mel Meninga signatures uh, that's he's one of the two legends for this year's but yeah we've got an Arthur Summons from 2019 there and that was number 52 of 208 cards I haven't been lucky enough myself to get a Legends Auto from an NRL product yet I say very hopefully uh, in ninth spot for 660 we had the Lockie Neal Gold Brownlow Predictor and that is number one number one 185 for that we've got the pendles club champions that was uh, number uh, number eight uh, for seven hundred dollars and the 
Jumper number, club champions there. Very, very nice card. Uh, we had the Peter Sumich goal kicking greats signature from Supremacy. Then we had an equal fifth spot. We had uh, two rugby league Scanlons from 1963. We had Doug Beatty and we had Lionel Morgan. Uh, two big names, particularly uh, in Queensland Rugby League. Then in fourth spot, we uh, had the Sam Walsh Gold Card Craft. So that's two weeks in a running. It's, it's been in the uh, top 10. So uh, clearly uh, one of the most sought after of the uh, Gold Card Crafts. In third spot for 795, we've got the Barry Hall signature from 2005 selects tradition uh, that was number 79 of just 100 and this was one of the most interesting uh, pieces i've seen i haven't actually seen these cards before um, so this was a lot of six cards from 1922 so literally 100 years ago and they came from Thorpe's Chocolate Fudge, which I just, I would, I just, I really miss getting footy cards in food. And I know I grew up with that. You know, we would get footy cards from chocolate and Maggi noodles. And I remember getting cricket cards out of Wheat Bix. I miss those days. I miss those days. Um, I can't remember the last time I got some, I mean, I guess, well, not technically, the Macca's cards, but you can buy those without buying food and they don't actually come in, you know, a burger. But anyway, we're getting off track here. Let's focus on these really awesome cards. If we uh, have a look on the back. So you've got different captains. So there was 50 captains, uh, 50 cards in the league captains set um, but as you can see we've got I mean we've got Hawthorne we've got North Melbourne but we've also got Northcote we've got Northcote there um, we've got Brighton so I think that's really awesome that they uh, not only had VFL but they had um, other local clubs represented I think that's really really cool yeah, you've got Brighton Football Club in the bottom right there that's really, really cool. Oh yeah, so it's kind of nice seeing that. It's got Thorpe Chocolate Fudge. Um, and also you could post off to Thorpe's factory, Wilkinson Street, Brunswick, uh, to get a enlarged picture of your captain. Um, yeah, really like that idea. So that lot of six cards sold for $959. And then in first spot for 1000 we had the Cameron Smith Road to the Finals memorabilia signature card from 2020's Elite. That's so cool. I love that. And yeah, we uh, that's a, a game used jersey and signature that's numbered 34 of 40. So few of those. But that is absolutely awesome, especially being a Storm supporter myself. That's absolutely sick. So those were the ones that we missed. Particularly loved this one and the uh, 1922 cards that we just saw. Let's now get into our international top 10. And we'll start off with this week's list. And in 10th spot for $2,475 dollars, we've got the Dirk. Now, Witski Sneakers Spotlight Auto. Intriguing, intriguing idea. Uh, this was from 2122's Noir, uh, numbered out of 99. In ninth spot for 2500, we've got Hyung Min Sun's Patch Auto. That is uh, 7 of 7 from this year's Obsidian. That's a really awesome order. I love that it's got that red, almost like a blood red design. That looks really, really awesome. And as I said, that's seven of seven. In eighth spot for 2,750, 
we've got a Bill Russell NBA 75th Anniversary Auto. Uh, again from Noir. We're getting quite a lot of Noir cards on the list this week. It's a nice looking card. In seventh spot for 3000, we've got a Christian Pulisic Kaboom from uh, the 2018 Panini Rewards system. The Kabooms look really awesome. Uh, love that image of him uh, clearly just having celebrating a goal and sliding about. A big Kaboom in the background. That looks really awesome. In sixth spot for 3,350, we've got a Kobe Jambalaya card from 0405 Fleer EXL. That's a Beckett 8.5. Actually, I think the Christian was a Beckett. That was a 9.5. I missed that. Uh, but we've got a Beckett 8.5 on that. And that's the back of the card. Then in fifth spot for $3,555. We haven't seen a huge amount of UFC cards on the list, but we do this week have a Brock Lesnar Black Auto, which is a one of one from 2021 Panini Select. Uh, Select, the this year's UFC Select uh, has just come out, I think. The hobby boxes are out of my price range, but hopefully I can get some sort of retail product been a, a bit of time since I've opened UFC on the channel. Looking forward to uh, cracking open some Prism. Uh, this year's Prism uh, coming up very shortly. There you go, Brock Lesnar, one of one auto there from last year's Select. In fourth spot for four grand, we've got a, Der a Derek Jeter, final season Bat Relic and Auto from 2020 Tops Transcendent. That is a one of one. That's very cool. Then in third spot, we've got another one of one. This time it's a F1 one of one for $4,430. We've got a Bottas uh, Jumbo Patch Signature, which is from the uh, Jumbo Patch is from a pair of gloves. Then you've got his signature that came from Topps Dynasty. In second spot for $6,195. We've got another Kaboom on the list, but this time we've got a Lamello Ball Rookie Kaboom from 2021's Crown Royale. I, that looks so cool. The Kabooms are definitely one of my favorite inserts. And in first spot, we've got some more high-ranking F1 cards. Max, maximum, maximum sales here for 15 grand. We've got Max for Sharpen again. Uh, the gold track tags. The track tags are a really cool insert. Um, and yeah, that was from 2020 Tops Chrome. That's the gold version. The gold versions are numbered out of 50, so that's 47 of 50, but it has also been graded by PSA, PSA 9 for that. That is the back of our maximum attack gold track tags. That's our number one card for this week. But let's then go back to uh, last week and uh, see what we missed, what cool cards in our international top 10 that we uh, didn't see. And we've got a Lionel Messi Color Blast from Obsidian. We've got a DeAndre Hunter Rookie Patch Auto from National Treasures. It's a really cool patch. They, as I've said before, many times before, I think basketball have some of the nicest patches around. In eighth spot, we've got an Mbappe Rookie uh, insert from Father's Day, 2018 Panini Father's Day, which is something I had never heard of before, doing a little bit of Googling. It appears that they are, it's kind of like a special way you have to go to hobby shops to pick up these special Father's Day packs. I think that's, that's what I kind of got from my Googling. Um, that there's sort of special releases that you kind of pick up some random, they're sort of sports all over the place that uh, Panini have. 
and yeah you could get number cards in those packs that you could pick up um, from hobby shops on I'm assuming on Father's Day or around Father's Day uh, so yeah that's really cool that was numbered to $3.99 for that but it is a Beckett 9 then we had a Jerry West rookie card uh, for the Los Angeles Lakers, LA Lakers, the very cute draft there. Uh, that's a 1961 rookie card uh, before they actually had the rookie card logo. Uh, yeah, very, very old school there. Not quite as old as 1922, but uh, the second oldest that we've got on the list. Then we've got Jordan Poole's rookie ticket auto uh, from Contenders. Uh, but that was from a white box, which again, I'd never heard of before. The white boxes, I think everything is like a one of one. So if we look, it says one of one white box, authentic signature. I think that is like, I think that was a circulator card, but then they put like a stamp on it, one of one. I think that's kind of how the white box works. Anyway, yeah, something like that. They're like pre-existing cards, but then they get stamped one of one. And then, yeah, they're like a bit of a, a lucky dip that you get with the white box. And then we had PJ Washington Jr. Rookie Patch Auto from National Treasures. That's a two of five. Such a great patch, such a great patch. Um, and then also in equal fourth, we uh, had Erling Haaland uh, Pebble Refractor from 1920 Finest. So that was a PSA 9. We've seen a few of his cards on the lists. We've got a Giannis Prism, a Rookie Prism from 2013 Select. Uh, and then we also had a Steph Curry Lasting Legacies Patch Auto uh, from National Treasures. Numbered out of 25, that was an equal first. And then uh, we also had another Steph Curry, a T minus three, two, one from Donruss Optic. Those are our mega eBay top tens. We got through, it was a uh, top 20s really, but we uh, had 40 cards on the list. So it was a bit of a wait, but I think it was worth it. Okay, now it's time for our NRL Player and Focus card and our AFL highlights. So let's get these cracked on open. It should be a blue pouch, as we've been seeing. Yes, let's not reveal my address <laughs> on that receipt. Turn that around. Yep, you can go over there. Now we can pull this out without uh, revealing my address on TV. So let's have a look. We've got our Nab Rising Star and uh, should there be another? Oh, okay. Oh, there you go. Look at the Mason Cox. They're doing them in, oh, I was about to turn them around there. They're doing them in, a, this is, I've never seen this before, uh, two top loaders. They used, normally they put them together. Though that's a bit bamboozled me a bit, but there you go. Well, here you go. Round 13, Mason Cox, uh, absolutely a great game for him. And his, his goggles in that win over Melbourne. That was a fantastic game. Uh, very memorable, and yeah, one of one of the, one of the better games he has had. Now an Aussie citizen, uh, which is fantastic. We also got Brandon Walker for the Dockers as the Nab Rising Star for round thirteen. Uh, fantastic, really, really very happy with this. Let's turn around and see what number. I'm going to assume there'll be quite a few of these bought. Oh, oh, so close to a jumper number. Oh, oh, 45. Man, only one off a jumper number. I feel like we've got so many cards this year that have been one off a jumper number. Hmm. We've got two jumper numbers, I think, this year. Oh, so 
so close. But yeah, 244 of those were purchased. 45, Brandon, what have we got? Got 97 of 160. So uh, we have seen the NAB Rising Star um, outselling the highlights quite a few times this year, but not on this occasion. The pies do sell very well, uh, typically. So those are our highlights and that rising start for this week. Now let's get this opened and see, of course, this week there was two um, player and focus cards with uh, the uh, men's and women's state of origin. Uh, the Women's State of Origin 1 and the Men's State of Origin Game 2 uh, highlight uh, cards, but we're going back to round 13 with Ola Kawatu for the uh, Manly Sea Eagles uh, in their big win against the Warriors at Four Pines Park. And let's have uh, been... Oh, 18! There you go. So I have been trying to buy these earlier now i don't i don't think that's his number but i have been trying to buy these um, as soon as they go online at midday um, but i think recently i've uh, i think this is probably at my best go um, because recently i have had trouble being free at midday but 18 i think is probably my best so far um, but yes, he was the driving force in uh, the Eagles' resounding win over the Warriors. The second rower's effort helped the Sea Eagles snap a three-game losing streak. Very cool. So there you go. Those are our print-on-demand cards for this week. Time now for Hits of the Week. And I think this is going to be a pretty quick segment because I can't think of anything we've pulled this week that could make the segment. I don't think we've got any box hits or anything super mega cool. So yeah, I guess that's the end of the segment. I'm of course completely joking because we've had an absolutely bonkers week on the channel picking up so many cool, cool things, which has definitely cheered me up uh, being sick in the past week. So let's uh, get through all of this stuff. On a Saturday morning, we uh, did, a, of course, our usual team coach, and we uh, got a Jack Zebel Star Wild, which looks so, so cool. I really, really love these Star Wilds this year. That looks awesome. And we also picked up the Port Gold Best and fairest, if that will focus. No, I think I think the guys hanging out on the side is causing issues. There we go. We can uh, see everybody there. So that was a nice addition. Our Sunday, our completely silent uh, NRL opening on Sunday, uh, definitely provided the goods. We uh, picked up our uh, bow for more Master and Apprentice Black edition, which is a box hit, as well as a Dragon's Team High Performance, which is as well, as well a box hit. So those were very nice additions, as well as an Alex Johnston uh, Authentic Series Signature. These are the foil signatures, so that is not a, a real hand-signed auto, but these are still very cool. They're one every, I think, five or six boxes. Um, so definitely very exciting, 106 of 250. So we've uh, picked up a Will Kennedy one for the Sharks earlier in the year with the foil. Uh, so that's two of those plus one reel. Then on Monday, I uh, got a binder. I got a Footy Stars binder. You know, and they come with the two free packs or the two bonus packs, whatever you want to call them. And I, uh, yeah, just cracked them open because I was just like, no, oh, they're just here. I will open them. And we, uh, I pulled my very first Spectrum of the year. So I was simultaneously very, very excited, but also a little bit kicking myself that I didn't open it up on, on camera. Uh, but that was super, super cool. The Essendon Spectrum Redemption number three, number 31. So very exciting to get that. But then of course, Tuesday. Tuesday just went absolutely wild because I was so not expecting to get another Spectrum. I was not expecting to get two Spectrums in two days and completely lost my mind that we'd got another Spectrum. But then that just went to a whole new level. 
when I uh, yeah revealed it and saw that magpie there. And uh, yeah, if you are a regular on the channel, you know my luck of pulling pies cards is very low. Um, I uh, don't pull a lot of big pies cards uh, out of my packs. So I was already very excited that we got another Spectrum. I was excited that we got a Spectrum on camera. I couldn't believe that we got a Spectrum, as I say, less than 24 hours after my first one of the year. But then seeing that I got a pies, I just, uh, yeah, went completely bonkers, completely bonkers. Uh, that was number 91 of 125. So we got 31 and 91 for our Spectrum. So I will be sending those in to get redeemed, but that is our uh, completely outrageous week on the channel. Time now to crack some packs as we always do at the end of each episode of Score Center, we've got our two packs of Team Coach, our two NRL Traders, and our two Footy Stars to represent what we open up regularly on the channel. We've, of course, we've got Team Coach on Saturdays, NRL on Sundays, and Footy Stars on Tuesdays. So bearing that in mind, let's kick things off with the Team Coach and see what, a, what nice things could be awaiting us. We uh, haven't had a big case hit for a while. I mean, you know, not that you, you know, expect to get them all the time, but let's have a look. We've got Luke Shuey Silver, Liam Stoker Silver, and it's not a case hit, but it's a box hit. How cool is that? It's a Lockie Neal. This is our first Brisbane Superstar Powers team color. That is awesome! His lips look very red. Is it just me? Or does it look like he's wearing lipstick? <laughs> His lips are very, very red in that image. Uh, Lucky Neil, there you go! That's awesome! How cool is that? Oh, that's very nice. Well, we, we picked up the Jack Zabel one of these. Not the past Saturday, the one before. There you go. That is very, very cool. I've got two Camilla, Christian Salem, Scott Lysette, Mitch Duncan, and Tim Membry. Oh, that's nice. A box hit from just some random packs. That's so cool. Oh, I really like that. Now, this is our second and final pack. We've got Noah Anderson. We did get two of his star powers last week. Uh, we've got Pendles, Silver, nice, nice, and we've got Patrick Cripps, Hero Star Powers for the Blues. That's nice as well, we've got Ellie Anderson, Shay Bolton, Luke Shuey, Mark Blitzovs, and Sean Darcy. Now, let's, uh, on Saturday, no, it's Saturday, it was Sunday, we could get a retirement card from our five random packs, which is very exciting. So let's uh, have a look at what we can find in these two random packs. We've got Jake Clifford, we've got Mitchell Moses, we've got Tom Trebojevic, we've got the Sharks checklist, and it's looking like a rising stars. We do have Tyson Smoothie for the Storm. Go Storm, and we've got the Cowboys checklist. I think there's only one of those we need now. Uh, Andrew McCullough, Joe Stimson, Jerome Luai, and Kenny Bromwich for the Storm. We've got our last NRL trade pack for today. Of course, Rivalry will be coming out. I think it's been moved to the middle of July, I think. And then we've also got Elite coming up, which looks really, really cool. Uh, we just had Sam Walker, Jared Wallace, Jacob Siafidi, Stefano Oitokamano, and a Zach Lomax Pearl Special for the Dragons, as well as the Warriors Checklist, Kaloa Matangi, Hunt, Dearden, and Stephen Crichton. Now we uh, finish things off today. Our little random pack openings with two packs of footy stars. Let's, uh, I'm still on the hunt for a Spectrum. Still on the hunt for a Spectrum. We have not pulled one this year. Uh, 
can we finally pull a Spectrum? That would just be so, so cool. Uh, who do we have? Oh, that's nice. We've got a Brody Mind Check. Pi is Game Breakers. That's very cool. Had a great game on the weekend. Realize I have not been reading up those names, but that's okay. We uh, read everybody out on Tuesday. Now our final pack for uh, Score Center. We've got uh, Karen Harrington, We've got Jack Rewald, Jack Darling, uh, Zach Bailey, and we have his teammate. Hugh McCluggage, 100 games milestone, which he uh, achieved last year in round 19. Of course, they're both last year, uh, if they are a milestone for this year. But there you go, Hugh. Congrats on your 100 games. We've got Dan Butler, Kiara Bowers, Hugh Greenwood, and Jack Gunston. So those are our cracker packs for this week. Well, there you go, everybody. That is another score center done and dusted. I have had so much fun. I hope you did as well. Of course, on Saturday morning, we've got another team coach pack opening. As usual, Sunday morning, we've got NRL and uh, another footy stars on Tuesday, Arvo. I still can't get over um, that opening. That was absolutely ridiculous. So join me over the weekend for lots more pack openings. And uh, yeah, um, regarding the July 4th special, clearly uh, that's come and gone, but I have a huge amount of awesome American sports to open. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned for that. So that will be coming up uh, soon on the channel. We'll uh, probably be doing it in multiple parts. So I'm looking forward to that, but I just uh, need to rest my voice. I, I can talk again mostly normally, but uh, just even like recording the eBay top 10, it, I uh, had to take a few breaks, a few coughing intermissions. So I'm, uh, yeah, we'll uh, do the uh, American sports special uh, when I am 100% again, which probably should not be too far away. And yeah, also still planning on doing a live stream 2000 sub special uh, sometime in the future. But yeah, definitely we'll give everybody a heads up when that is all ready to go. But until next time, stay cool. Take care. My name is Dave. This is Scorecard Collectibles. And I can't wait to see you next time.